Hi there, my name is Anna and welcome back to my art channel. So in today's video I have a mixed media piece for you and um, I'm starting off with my new watercolor set that you can see on the right hand side and I'm just using a mix of different blues and um, a relatively dark neutral color just to block in the background and I'm letting this dry. And now I'm using some white gouache just to sprinkle in some little white dots to indicate these little ethereal white lights. And now I'm using my colored pencils to, um, to draw a jellyfish on top of this background. Um, I like drawing on toned paper because it saves you the hassle of having to draw in the background with colored pencil which takes forever <laughs> and is not that rewarding uh, so I thought I'd try out just um, painting in the background with watercolor and I think it is a good idea um, but this is a slightly darker color than what I usually draw on and um, also it's a very smooth surface I used a very um, a very smooth watercolor paper for this and I think if I had used one with a little bit more texture to it, I could have layered on more of the colored pencils and um, yeah, then maybe the colored pencils would have seemed more opaque. Um, in any case, it didn't work that way here. Um, I couldn't layer as much color on as I wanted, but I think it still turned out very nice. And jellyfish obviously um, are very translucent creatures, so it kind of worked out that way. I'm using a mixture of different colored pencils. The white I'm using is the Derwent Drawing Chinese White, which is a very soft and opaque white. And I'm also using a lot of my um, Polychromos, no, that's not right. Um, my Prisma colors because they are also relatively soft and opaque. I thought they would show up better on here, and uh, just a bunch of some of my newer Castle Art colored pencils. And I just sketched out the jellyfish using colored pencils. It's not a very complex structure, so that was easy enough, and I didn't have to do any erasing. And um, the only tricky part was really drawing in the middle of the jellyfish and drawing those tentacles around it. And as you can see, I've mostly blocked in a lot of areas in white. And now I'm using some yellows and oranges and some pinks to kind of glaze over that white. I'm just kind of working the colors into each other. And as I go, I start adding more and more pressure. So gradually I am burnishing the colors into each other. That way you can get a smooth finish without having to use any solvents. Also adding some blues here and there. And some purples. Some areas are more translucent than others. So I want to have more blue in those areas to indicate the background kind of shimmering through. And where the jellyfish is more opaque, I use more white. I'm just kind of following my reference photo and blending these lovely colors into each other. Also using a little bit of dark colors to add some definitions in some areas. And I'm very happy with the bottom portion of the jellyfish. It's only its head basically, which I would have had, would have liked to have had more vibrant and more opaque than it turned out in the end. But there's no harm there. It turned out very nice anyway. 
just not as vibrant as the reference photo was. And colored pencils are a very slow medium, but because I painted the background with watercolor, this project didn't take me that long. And as the jellyfish is a fairly simple creature to draw, I think I finished this within an hour and a half, which is fairly fast for watercolor, eh, for colored pencil, I mean. <laughs> Adding in some shadow areas on the top of the jellyfish, using a mix of different dark colors. And now I'm using an ink pen, a white ink pen, which is meant to be suitable for use over watercolors. Sorry, <laughs> I mean over colored pencils, obviously. Um, yeah, and I'm just drawing in some of the whitest highlights and um, adding some definition to those tentacles. And that is more or less it. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. And I hope to see you again soon in one of my next videos. Let me know what you think of this and um, I hope to see you again soon. Take care. Bye bye.